Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 2000 or W Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 County in six seater spec. Massive spec on this one. Finished in Epsom green uh, with black interior. Um, where do we start with the spec? It's got a matching set of five BF Goodrich all terrains on uh, black alloys, which are in excellent shape. It's got full length side steps, checker plate to the wing tops, the modesty covers, and the rear quarters. Um, it's got snorkel, um, steering guard and certainly a front diff guard. I haven't looked underneath if it's got a rear diff guard because I've got a bad knee. I can't bend down. Um, it's also got a full expedition roof rack with auxiliary lights mounted to the front of it. It's got a rear work light, mud flaps all round by the look of it, um, LED headlights, which are rather smart, and um, black gloss light surrounds and grill. What else do we have externally? Um, it's got the rear access ladder for the roof rack. Tow bar, yeah mud flaps all round. Uh, it's also got a swing away spare wheel carrier. Um, which is a rather nice fitment. And inside it's got, they look rather new actually, a complete set of six Exmoor trim seats trimmed in black black vinyl, um, front pair and the rear four individual ones all with seat belts. Being a county it's got the sunroof and the full headlining and the colour coded spats and everything. Uh, it's also got a lockable metal centre cubby box, a nice Pioneer radio CD with auxiliary plug on it, um, milled gear knobs which are rather pleasant, it's got fire extinguisher. Really not much else you could really want to put on a Defender to be honest. It's got the lot, this one. Looks like a nice new um, matting system as well, fitted to the uh, fitted to the front of it. Um, okay, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. It is 16 years old, so there's a few blemishes in the paint here and there. Whilst it's been prepared for um, off-roading and green laning, I can't see many much evidence of it, of it ever having done so. Uh, there's no sort of nasty hedge scratches down the side or anything. Um, all sort of big bashes on the on the bash plate and stuff. It's just been prepared but not used as such if you like. Um, but walking around the front, what have we got here? We've got some quite deep scratches just here on the front of the front offside wing, just there. A bit of paint loss on the uh, on the checker plate. Bonnet's actually in reasonably good shape. Around the front end it's all in nice order. Looking to... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Mm. Uh, looking down the near side, it actually looks really rather straight down there. Usual slight ripples in the doors, and I can see a, a bit of a, a depression just above the handle on the barrel side on the near side door, but that's normal. A um, bit of paint lost just here on the top of the near side front wing. Just there. Uh, scuffle corners, both sides, actually pretty good. No nasties there at all. bit of paint lost just up here. A post on the passenger side is all good. Hinges look a little bit tired. Um, what have we got here? It's actually not a lot of electrolytic reaction on this one either, apart from on the tailgate, but down the sides it's quite good. Oh, the, the roof has lost a fair bit of its lacquer. It seems to happen with this Epsom green. Lost some of its lacquer there and there, and same on the other side. Um, inside, as I say, it's really nice. The seats are virtually new. Um, sadly, the driver's one has not split it at all. It's just obviously a, a, a rivet on some jeans or something has caught it and just made a sort of mark in the seat. It hasn't split. Headlining's really good. Um, yeah, the interior is really nice, and so it's got the uh, the matting system down here, which uh, may be new, maybe um, maybe it's just in really good shape. Um, passenger door frame actually feels quite good. Bit of movement in the bottom hinge pin, but again, not unusual. The frame feels good. Um, rear wing all looks, the top top trim has is bubbling slightly in it, looks like it has been painted in a little bit, just along there, not uncommon on the age of them. Um, that looks nice around here, um, same here, the, the top top trim is, is bubbling slightly. Uh, tailgate's got the usual electrolytic reaction down here and around here. In the back it's all nice, it's got a load liner in it as well. 
Now the cover for the wiper motor is missing. Um, I suspect the tailgate frame is a, doesn't feel like it's crumbling under my hands, but it's been taped up around here. Whether that's to tape the tape the door card on or not, I don't know. But it actually feels. And there's a hole. I can feel a hole there. Doesn't feel too bad, but um, probably the tailgate is the, uh, is the worst part of it, as is often the case. Uh, rear cross member has been plated just there, but actually looks like quite a good job. We're going to be supplying it with 12 months MOT. Obviously, if it needs uh, needs any major work, that will be done as part of the MOT. Um, not expecting any uh, nasties. Looking down the offside, again, looks uh, there's a couple of minor dinks and donks in the driver's door and around the hinges and stuff, as always. A bit of... Um, Bubbling coming up here again on the tub top trim, a bit of reaction down there. Uh, we've talked about the lack of loss on the roof. Offside. <coughs> Dear me. Um, offside rear wing is all good. Offside front door is all good. We have got some paint loss and bubbling just up here on the top of the A post on the um, on the driver's side, and a bit of bubbling just down here. So some bubbling on the A post on the driver's side. But scuttle corner is splendid. No issues there. Um, offside front wings, a couple of marks on the eyebrows, but that's about it. A tiny bit of paint loss down there. Uh, again, the hinge pins on the driver's door are not in their first flush of youth, should we say? But the door itself, bit of surface rust here, but a small hole just in the back of the frame there. But otherwise, mm, frame doesn't feel too bad. It's all crumbly under my fingers again. No. Um, as we talked about the seats and stuff in the interior, the steering wheel is, a, is a, probably could do with having the wheel replaced actually, it's a bit old and tired that, and it has done 191,000 miles, so uh, perhaps a, a steering wheel replacement wouldn't go amiss. But otherwise, she's all there, and it's a like total spec on this one, absolutely everything. Um, and it's in the, uh, the most desirable colour. That's about it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118-907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered any way you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.